Aquarius. Welcome back, Aquarius. Let's do a general read for you this week. Again, we're going to look at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. Keep in mind that we will clarify all those cards, and then once that is finished, we will pull three more cards around the read just to make sure that we have everything that you require for this read. Aquarius, let's get started and see what is going on for you this week. Seven of Swords. Seems like things are not going really well right now. The Desire, Five of Pentacles. I get that somebody doesn't want to lose out on something. And then we have the chariot that shows up in the outcome. Uh, success can be had using strength. Judgment is what's working for you. So judgment is kind of maybe a major decision is what I feel at this particular time. And then the nine of pentacles is what you need to be aware of. Um, feeling comfortable. So let's start to clarify what is going on for you. So, Seven of Swords, High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles has been showing up for a lot of the signs recently. <clears throat> there just seems to be a lot of uncertainty. A lot of uncertainty is with the High Priestess here and the Ten of Wands, it just seems that there's a lot of um, guesswork that's being done. Uh, it's like you're trying to, you've been working to figure out your path, um, trying to use your intuition, but it just kind of seems like it's not happening. And with the Six of Pentacles here, it's just, it's almost like it's giving you a hard time. Five of Pentacles. Clarified by the sun, two of swords, and the devil. Not wanting to experience the hardships that fall upon us mortals, it seems what it is there. But there is sunshine ahead. Unfortunately, there's still choices to be made, and it doesn't look like either of those choices are super duper awesome, um, but somebody's pulling your strings and you may be forced to make that choice. Um, so I almost get the feeling that some of you don't want to make a choice. The chariot shows up in what's work, what the outcome is. Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. When things finally let loose, and you make that choice, things really start to move forward. Um, there could be an offer that's coming in that you might not want to lose, that you really might want to take action towards with the Knight of Swords here. Judgment card. Judgment card speaks about choice. Could also speak uh, to something coming back from the past sort of uh, reward for past effort. We have the Tower of Temperance and the King of Pentacles showing up. This feels like there's going to come a time that once you make this choice, there's going to need to be some balance and you're going to need to step up into this sort of King of Pentacles energy where um, where you need to make those decisions sort of How do I want to put it? Doing the greatest good for yourself. The Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Empress, and the Page of Wands. Taurus seems to be showing up heavily in your read. Uh, this seems that although your stability is working, uh, what you need to be aware of is the stability that you have being busy, um, being busy creating uh, life or a relationship that you can really sort of sink your teeth into. There is good news around that. 
there is, it's like, this is the stuff that you've prepared for, and now it's sort of coming in. Page of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is the outcome. There might be a delay. <clears throat> Empress also speaks to marriage. There might be a delay, or you need to use your head around making this um, marriage sort of happen, or maybe this commitment uh, happening. But it is it could be still incoming for you. That'll be up to you. Aquarius, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. We will talk to you next time. Stay safe.